It's okay. Not in the bull name. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so every dude down in Whoville liked Christmas Clock, but the Grinch lived just north of Whoville. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be perhaps the shoes were too tight. It could be as it wasn't screwed on just right. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart hurt his shoes. He stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the house. Staring down from his cave with a sour grinchy frown at the warm line of windows below in the town. For he knew every roof of the new beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe mistletoe reef. <laughs> and they're hanging their stockings. He started with a sneer. Tomorrow's Christmas is practically here. Then he grabbed his grinch fingers and the wrist of I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow he knew all the who girls and boys would wake bright and early. The worst for the toys in them was the nose of the nose, nose, nose. There's one, that's the one thing you need on oh, the nose, nose, nose. And the who's, you know, will we'll sit down to a feast. And they'll feast, and they'll feast. And they'll feast, 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 feast. They'll feast on who pudding and rare who roast feast. Which is something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then. And they. And then. And then the least of all. Oh, every who. Down in Whoville. The tall and the small. Would stand close together. The Christmas bells were made. They'd stand hand in hand and those hoops were to me. They'd sing and they'd sing and they'd sing. Now, Grinch, 
I will stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove. When he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove, he turned around and fast and he saw a small boo. Little silly Lou who was no more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny, tiny who daughter who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why, why are you taking a Christmas tree? Why? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lot and he thought of a quick. One of my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus slide. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there and we'll bring it back here. And his fit fooled the child. Then he patted her head and he got her a drink and he sent her to bed. And when little Cindy Lou Who went to bed with a cup, he crept in the chimney and stuck the tree up. It, and he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. And the last thing he took was their lock from the fire. On their walls, he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even, was the, that was a crumb that was even too small for that mouse. Then, he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was quarter past on. All the who's still bed, all the who's still his news. We packed up his sled. Packed it up with our presents, the ribbons, the ribbons, the tags, the tittles, the snoop, and the puzzles, the tinglers, the trimmings, and the trappings. Three, three, three thousand, two thousand, ten thousand feet up. Up to sign up Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's, he was grinchly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming, they're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang for a minute or two. The who's down in Whoville will all cry. <laughs> That's noise, good the Grinch. I simply must hear. So we pause for a little second. And the Grinch put a hand on his ear. And he did hear the sound rising over the snow. It started to mow, then it started to grow. But this sound wasn't so What is something to be very? Clearly, so it was very, very. He stared down at the the bridge, pop, pop in his eyes. Then he shook when he saw was a shocking surprise. Every who down at home was the tall and the small was digging without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. Oops, I missed a few heart pages. And the Grinch with his feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled and puzzled and puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he had him before. Maybe Christmas, he thought. Doesn't come from the store. <laughs> Maybe Christmas, perhaps. It's just a little bit more. And what happened then? When in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then the true meaning of Christmas came through, and the Grinch found the stripe of ten witches plus two. And now that his heart did feel quite so tight. He whizzed with his load to the point where he went, this one, oh, down and what are y'all doing this trumpet? He rolled down with the hoodle, he brought back their toys, he brought back the boot to the hoop girls and boys. He rocked back in the snow from the jingles and puzzles. He brought back the antukas, the dimples and wazzles. And he brought the food back for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast feast. Yay. Hooray! Good job, Jason. Now, now.